Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, this is uh, the next episode in my overhood. Today we have a little bit uh, a change of scene. Uh, we are no longer in Pleasant Hill. Uh, we have moved to the strange town part of uh, my overhood. And today we are gonna look at the, um, the iconic Curious uh, Brothers. Or at least uh, the, the brothers that are still living in the Curious uh, house, the original one. Um, I don't think I have much more to say. As you can see, it's not all of them that is living here, but I will get into that. Um, this is how the strange town is looking. It's pretty much how it is always. Uh, I have put in a little of a little bit of a cemetery, um, and then like a trailer park ish uh, place. Uh, I think the rest is almost the same. Oh yeah, of course the teeny hangout is here, but you have seen that in some of the episodes. It looks like I've actually forgotten to put the um, a roof on the toilet, so that's <laughs> that's a little bit interesting. Uh, but yeah, I think I will just go into the Curious family and uh, I will tell you about them. And here we have the iconic uh, Curious house. Uh, it kind of looks like itself, at least in on the outside. Uh, on the inside, I have made it a little bit more um, playable. <laughs> it was very much cramped before and almost impossible to make I anything work. Uh, this is how it looks now. It helped a lot when um, when Pascal, Pascal, that's his name. Uh, yeah, Pascal uh, moved out. Um, so that made it a little bit easier because there were a lot of people in here at some point. Um, as you can see over here, Laszlo is almost uh, about to go to work. So I think I will start talking about him. In this household, I have a little bit of a weird bug, a glitch. Uh, every time when I start up, um, they have this. Uh, and I have tried to reroll the wands and stuff like that, but it never really works. Um, maybe it works here? Oh, it actually did. Okay, nice. It's not all... Oh, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, but um, yeah, so this household is a little bit buggy sometimes, uh, but I've just played with it and thought, well, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, but I will start telling you about uh, last one. He is, of course, a knowledge sim. He is really, really, really sloppy. He is quite outgoing. He is lazy. He is really playful and he is in the middle of uh, grouchy and nice. His bio is pretty much the same as in the beginning. Um, I'm just gonna make him roll around so he's not looking that weird. There we go. Um, he... I already told you he was a knowledge sim. There we go. He is a handyman. Uh, or is he, is he is handy, but he is also really, really sloppy. So he is... The most slobbiest sim you uh, you can get. <laughs> um, I actually feel like Laszlo is the most interesting brothers uh, brother of the Curious Brothers, at least in this playthrough. Uh, not because a lot have happened, but uh, he just has a little bit more to do with other people than the other two brothers. Um, as you can see, he has a lot of friends. Um, he is friends with, uh, of course, his sisters and his brothers and all the kids. But he also has a friendship friendship with Bella Goth. Um, and uh, who was it? Oh, yeah. And yeah, <laughs> he uh, also had a crush on Cassandra Goth before she died. Um, not a crush, but he had a, a little flirt with her. Um, oh, I didn't remember. Oh, it's before the the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Um, 
I know in the original game he has a crush on I think it's she's called Crystal. But for some reason in my hood Oh yeah. She's called Gwen. So when I saw her <laughs> I didn't think it was her. Um so I never really played into that relationship. Uh which is fine because they have minus bolts. Um so they are not even attracted to each other, so I guess it's quite fitting anyways. Um but that means he doesn't really have anyone he likes. Um he had Cassandra for a, a very short while. Um but after she died, uh, of course they couldn't really have anything. Um but that meant when she died, he was the one taking over her job. Not because she he they had kissed, but um, he knew more and more through Cassandra um, and because he's such a nerd and he's really into science and all that it made sense for Mortimer to um, what can I say um, hire him as the new science teacher um, so that's where he is now the thing Mortimer doesn't know though is that uh, Laszlo has a big hobby for uh, special plants <laughs> Um, and I feel like um, that can maybe down the line make some interesting relationships to some of the teens um, I at least have some plans for them for the teens when they grow a little bit older like growing into young adults um, that Laszlo can be a little bit of a, a good friend but in not the best way <laughs> I will not go into much more detail than that, other than um, it has something to do with his funny plans. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I have to say about Laszlo. Um, he doesn't have a secondary aspiration. Um, and right now he's going to, to work. Oh yeah, well I can tell you about his, his daughter. Um, he was the last uh, curious brother to get adop abducted uh, and get pregnant from them and he got a daughter who is called Olia uh, and Olia is the daughter of him and then a PT called Beetle so I'm quite interested to see how she's gonna look uh, when she grow ups, grows up um, there's gonna be quite a lot of time before that happens I actually thought um, she would have went to the daycare because I think both of them are going to work they are so that is actually gonna be a problem I guess I'm gonna let um, Vidkun stay at home uh, now that Laszlo is going to the school and we know he's uh, the teacher at the school so from now on he's uh, <laughs> Olia is gonna go to the daycare I need to write that in uh, my sheet so I remember it to next time but yeah uh, that is pretty much everything I can tell about Laszlo at the minute so let's go into Vidkun and um, here we have Vid Vidkun uh, looking as vidkun as she can <laughs> I chose to not touch uh, the Curious Brothers looks because I know they are really, really iconic. Um, I feel like they all look quite weird, but um, in a really good way. So for me, it, it, it was it was fine to leave them how they look. Um, their kids is just looking very interesting. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Vidkun is of course a knowledge sim as um, as the his two other brothers. He has one child uh, at the moment who is called uh, Fenris. Fenris was the second uh, child mo uh, born into this um, family. The first one was of course uh, Tycho, who Pascal, who is not living here anymore, was pregnant with as soon as we go into the family in the beginning. Um, so it's called Tycho and then I think Taiko has a brother 
No, okay, so there, it's it's Tycho, Fenris, and Olya. Uh, and uh, his um, traits is he has uh, no sense of humor and he's a genius. Um, so that is pretty much what. Well, that's the thing. Even though these brothers are very very iconic, uh, I have a really hard time to figure out exactly what to do with them because they just want to do knowledge stuff um, Pascal was a little bit easier as you can see he's not living in the house anymore so he's living another place with um, with the nervous subject uh, and and his kid so he was a little bit more uh, easy to do something new with uh, but I haven't I haven't really played with the strange with strange town that much so I don't really know the characters that well that well so for me to make stories with them has been a little bit more um, not really difficult but um, it has been more how the game plays it and not so much me finding out uh, stories and yeah yeah um, how can I explain it? <laughs> I have you let the game pretty much decide what is gonna happen uh, because I don't know how the different people would react to different things. Um, but um, but I think we will probably just in time figure out how to how to make these not necessarily more interesting, but uh, make them have a story uh, because at the moment they are just uh, brothers that is really into science um, apart from Laszlo of course I've made a little bit of a story with him um, but Vidkan he is a hard dude to find out because he is not really into anyone as you can see um, Brandy that's just a no-go he likes Bella but eh. <laughs> and um, there is co oh that's the wrong person I was not into uh okay yeah, yeah as you can see he's not really into a anyone like major he still likes Cersei that's from before the game starts he has a crush on Cersei um I think it's in the college years uh they have a crush on each other maybe something but then Cersei gets to be with um. Who is he? What is the name again? Hmm. <laughs> See, this is my knowledge about uh, Strange Town. Strange Town. Yeah, he Loki. He's still enemies with Loki, so it's not like that's not better. But um, he doesn't really do much other than going to work. It's also been a little bit hard with this family because there has been small kids all the time. So most of the time has been taking care of them, uh, <laughs> but at least the kids is uh, around the age where they can handle themselves at this point, and it helped a lot to get uh, Pascal out of the house. Um, but I think in this episode, the um, the goal is to maybe let Laszlo meet a new alien um, friend. <laughs> Um, I think it could be fine to have one more kid. If it's Laszlo or if it's um, Vidkun, it doesn't matter too much for me. Um, other than that, I think we're just gonna go out and see who they meet. I want them to meet some more people and maybe find some romantic interest or friendship interest or something like that. Just something. Um, so yeah. I forgot to tell you a little bit more about Fenris. Um, he is in his school age. He has been to school once. Uh, or he's not even been to school yet. <laughs> At least not here. Um, he has grown up with uh, Tycho. But Tycho was not the most easiest person to grow up with. Uh, I at least remember it as Tycho being... A little bit more reserved. Uh, Fenris tried, um, and he has also tried to be more friends with Olya, uh, being kind of a big brother for her. But um, mm, 
it's a little bit hard. Um, he is, by the way, the son of Vidcon and then PT Boss Blue. Uh, Boss Blue. Okay, interesting. So I'm also looking forward to see where he is ending up because he has a very interesting face, I feel like. Um, the eyes is really cool. So it's gonna be nice to see how he looks when he gets older. Uh, I have a feeling how Tycho is gonna look um, because he has that typical uh, Sims 2 alien eyes. So <laughs> that's something. Um, his personality is he's super sloppy. He's a little bit more shy. And then he is super duper active, super duper playful and super duper nice. Uh, so his traits are in pretty much the opposite of his dad's. So I guess um, it's the alien traits that is going coming through here. Um, and if we look into Olya, we can maybe take a little closer look on her. What is Aaron doing? She has quite of an interesting face too. A little bit squished. Um, but I still have hopes because um, the toddlers often look a little bit more weird uh, than they do when they grow up. Um, and she is... She's a little bit... Uh, she's quite sloppy. She's really outgoing and really active. And then she's super serious and really nice. So as her um, cousin... Um, she is low in two st in two parts and then re like maxed out in the others. I feel like that's interesting way to to see their personalities. Um, she wanna learn how to walk today, so I think we're gonna work on that. That's gonna be Vidkan though because Laszlo he is at work now. Um, Oh, Laszlo want her, wants to teach her how to the nursery rhyme, so I think I will work on that when he gets home. Um, Fenris is soon going to work. No, not work. <laughs> School. Um, I guess the bus is coming very, very soon. So in the meantime, he can put the pancakes away. without turning off the television. <laughs> and when I decorated the house, I wanted to kind of save the space vibe. So it's still quite um, uh, light and uh, clean. And we have the more spacey-ish uh, furnitures, but still with some weird furnitures here and there. Um, in the end, it was also what we actually have had money for. Um, oh. Wait, did he... Is he... Was that because of baby time? Maybe we are gonna have a baby. Um... He was abduct uh, abducted last round, I guess. So we're gonna have a baby. I completely forgot about that. Okay. That's interesting. He's not going to work then. That makes sense. Um, okay. So teach Olya to walk. I know he's going to sleep soon. Fenris is going to school. Hello? Oh, she has weird clothes on. Yeah, it's for sure baby time. Okay. Wait, do they have a um, maid? It seems like uh, teaching her to walk is not going to work, so I'm going to make him sleep, actually, because he's so tired. 
and they already have a mate. Perfect. So Olya is pretty much gonna fend for herself for a little bit. Uh, and I will be back when something happens. Okay, so Vidkun is awake again. Um, oh, go out and say hi. Meet some people, please. Um, the problem is... If he's pregnant, I cannot get him to go out to community lots with that because that would mess up the pregnancy. Um, so that's something. That's a bit annoying. So that is what it is. Um, he doesn't want to meet people anyway, so I guess it's fine. So I will make him party train Alia and then try to teach her how to walk. These plants are looking good at this point. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a whoopsie for me. Party train. First baby bump. Okay. It was close, but not completely. But we need to take care of some other needs. For example, she needs to sleep. <laughs> she doesn't even want to be potty trained. Because now Laszlo is home, so he can take her, his daughter to have a bath. I think that would be okay. Fenris Sports had someone with him home. Let's see who. Danza. Okay. We can go and talk with him. How is their friendship? It's okay. It's not too bad. I guess it makes sense for him to to go towards people that he feel like he can connect with, like group-wise. I guess I forgot to make him claim his side of the table. I'll do that in a second. You need to go to sleep. I could make him nap, but I feel like it's it's okay for him to to sleep. don't have the same interests, it seems like. <laughs> oh, she fell asleep. Oh 
going by slow. Give it time to your plants. Make sure that they are doing good. Laszlo has, I think, been a part of all the kids uh, growing up. Like, I think he has uh, done much of not finishing okay. them, like, um, making them learn on their skills, but I, uh, I'm pretty sure he helped a lot with with them actually learning the skills. Um, I feel like Laszlo is uh, also, as a teacher, someone that is just really, really... Uh, how can I say? Happy to be with the young and with children. He wants them to be happy and having a good time. Laszlo, I feel like Laszlo is as a good pe person you can uh, almost be. Even though he's not really that nice. Um, I just feel like he is a human lover. Um, Fitting into a little bit of that hip hippie mindset, maybe. Ma mindset, maybe. <laughs> I feel like it's hard to make the kids actually like each other. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's a sport ball, but maybe that's what you need to do. Okay, I feel like Laszlo, you have done what you needed to do here. I want you to take a shower. Do they have a copy machine? Nope. Uh, because he's quite tired too. So I could make him sleep a little bit. But I want him to go out uh, now that Vidcon cannot. Um, I want him to meet some more people get some more friends that is not necessarily his family he is very much sloppy with all the water going all over the place is Vidkun awake now? yeah I think he is maybe we can get him to talk with someone Maybe their sister. Yeah, for people that don't know, they also have... Um, the Kiris uh, family tree is one of the most weird family trees ever. <laughs> because uh, Vidkun has, of course, his two brothers, uh, Pascal and Laszlo. And then they have uh, their sister, Jenny. Um, and then they have two... Um, half sisters who is both uh, aliens and that's Chloe, Chloe Curious and um, Lola Curious um, and where it gets difficult is when you cr look into their dad <laughs> he is um, yeah this is where it gets really confusing so he is of course the dad of the two uh, the three brothers and Jenny and then he has two daughters here. Uh, if you look into the two daughters, their <laughs> um, their other daughter that is um, Polynesian technician um, or oh Paul. I know someone. It's some people are calling him. Um, he's the alien that abducted uh, Glenn Curious and made him pregnant with uh, the two girls. Um, and the weird thing with why it's so weird is because he, so <laughs> he is married to Jenny, who he has kids with, but Jenny is sister to the three brothers, which half sisters are these two. So it's, it's, it's really confusing. And that, this is how the, the game developers made it. So. I don't know what they were thinking about there. Uh, it at least makes the the family tree really, really hard to follow, um, and it's it's almost more uh, convoluted than in in Pleasant View, <laughs> it, or it is at least more. Uh, it is actually more convoluted than in Pleasant View, but it's 
I don't know how to <laughs> how to explain it better than that other than it's really it's really weird. Um take a burger. But um so he's gonna call his sister and talk a little bit. Maybe invite her over so he's not uh, alone. Yeah. Yes. How is it going with the two boys? Nothing really. I want them to be friends. That wasn't alone. I know, I know. Entertain, joke. Maybe. I know. Oh, he looks so happy when he's walking. He really wants to. I want this to work. Teach her how to walk was something that we, we needed to do. Just to let the poopy diver be there. What I wanted was to have Laszlo go out. So I think I... I need him to do that. So change into everyday. Um, yeah, I want him to go out. I want him to... Can I not give you to walk anyway? Walk to community lab? Nope, just alone. Um, Woodland Park. Okay, we will see who he finds here at the park. Jenny is apparently also here. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Um, so, we need him to meet some people. See, nice, okay. See, this makes it important for me to find him someone. He likes Isabella, okay. Mm, meet Bianca. Who do we have here other than them? Jenny is going again. I know it's a little bit late, maybe. Probably not. There you go. Nope. Okay. So. That is who is here at the moment. Oh no, Don was faster. He can meet Mary Sue, I guess. Though I don't think he will fit into what he she wants. <laughs> but maybe it could be surprising. I don't know. Mary Sue, no, please. But my. Does he? Nope. Uh, not at all. Okay, perfect. I know Isabel will have someone, but I just want to see how it develops. Because I really don't know who else he should. I really need to think about it. Wait, so Mary Sue really likes Don, but Don really doesn't like Mary Sue. I need to see something. Mm. Adjust that. 
What is his administrator? I don't think I rolled it when I started the hood though, and that could maybe be something that we need to do. Um, would he want to meet a witch? Nah, I, I'm not. I don't really want the other cults in in the hood. I've never really played so much with witches and vampires and stuff like that. I feel like it's more inconvenient in than anything nice. Um, but at least he met a couple of people. He's gonna greet her. If... let's see... No, he's not interested in her anyways, so it's not gonna be anything. So nothing interesting in the park today. What am I gonna do with you guys? I need to find out what I'm gonna do with these brothers, but... because... I really don't know. I want something interesting to happen with them, but... I don't know. Maybe I need to find out where all the youngsters is going. All the young adults. <laughs> and we are back at the curious household. Um, I still want her to learn how to walk. Um, where is Fenris? Okay, he's going all the way around, okay. Is it because of the how the house is, is that it's hard for them to... Come on, please. I guess it just can't. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, Venus, maybe you could take a shower instead. Imagine being invited over to your brother's house and they're doing everything else than actually talking to you. <laughs> not even, not even feeding you or anything. <laughs> I need him to claim this side of the table. And then I will probably ask him to say goodbye if he can. Oh, I think he might not know her enough for to be able to do that. No, okay. Then talk maybe until your dad is done eating so he can help you with your homework. I feel like he's way, 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 way too tired for what he is, so I'm just gonna do that. I know it's not okay, but not okay, it's up to me, it's my game. <laughs> Come on, you can be done eating, please. I think he's gonna... Um, late night is gonna have his birth, so I will take that into this episode, because if that makes make more sense. Um, ask for a pumpkin, please. I'm not able to do that. Okay, good. Oh, 
Can they post those? There we go. Nice. That's super good. Oh, he wants his sis to be affected. Oh no. <laughs> yes, Finley, so you can go to sleep now. I'm done torturing you. And your dad should go out and maybe say goodbye to his sister. Goodbye to everyone. We didn't get to teach uh, Olya how to rhyme, but um, that's something to work on next time. I still have the time to teach her to maybe use the potty. I don't think he's she's gonna learn it completely this time, but hopefully she's gonna be close. Ah, I'm not sure. Then he himself maybe could uh, go up and play some chess to have some fun. He should get the baby soon, um, but until then we're gonna... <laughs> it's raining of course. It's not in your house, it's outside. It's fine. I think that's enough fun. Um, instead we need him to go and pee. And then I think we're just gonna make him go to bed. Because everyone else is sleeping at the moment. Um, and I think I will just meet you when he, he give birth. Give birth. If I can see it's uh, gonna happen in this episode, uh, it is gonna. I'm just gonna wait for him to actually have the birth because it's it's gonna happen this evening. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I will just see you in a bit. Okay. So the birth is here. <laughs> it is happening. Um, let's see what he gets. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Two? Ah, uh, God. Okay. Yes, the other one coming. Let's see if it's boys or girls. And they're completely green though. Um, two boys. So Olya is so far the only girl in this uh, household. Um, so we need two male names. Since the other ones have somewhat special names, I wanna keep uh, doing that. Since Vidkun gave um, Fenris, like a Nordic name. I think we're gonna go in that 
area too with the rest of his babies. I want um, one of them called Heimdale. Um, Balda, could, Balda could be really nice too, but um, I need to say it right if I need that. Um, so no. Mm. And Gunir? 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 I'm gonna butcher these names all the time, but uh, I like them. <laughs> Gungnir. So Heimdall and Gungnir uh, is gonna be the two boys' names. Uh, two, why did he need to get twins? <laughs> There's such a small chance for him to actually get twins. Uh, this is insane. Um, but who is the dad? Because it looks like the normal... Ah, okay. Karina Beatles, okay. Interesting. So they looked quite much this like each other. Blue eyes and then I think it's green eyes. I'm not sure, but something like that. Uh so yeah. <laughs> we end up this episode with twins. Um interesting. I wasn't suspecting twins. But uh, I guess that is what it is. Um, so f today's episode was quite slow uh, in the beginning, but I think it ended up um <laughs> with a lot more than I had hoped for. Um, Vidkan apparently was pregnant, I didn't know. Uh, so he ended up with twins. He tried everything he could to try to teach Alia to walk. It didn't work at any point. Um, so she's not near learning how to walk but that's what it is um laszlo tried to meet some of the young adults in the park but there was no young adults um, instead he met uh, isabella that he apparently have some boats with but i'm not sure that's gonna happen anything with that but uh, in the end he really wants to go on a date so maybe we will see she has a husband, so I don't think so. Um, Fenris tried to be friends with uh, Dante um, Garth. It didn't really go so well, but he tried. Uh, at least he learned how to study by his dad. Um, and he got two brothers. So I think they're having something in this episode, uh, which was good. Um, that it was more kids and not more meeting other people was not really my plan but that is how that is why having plans is a little bit hard when you play like this <laughs> because everything is going all other ways than what you want it to go your plans is not what is going to happen anyways um but yeah i think that was everything that happened in this uh, episode so i will say thank you so much for watching and uh, i will i hope i will see you in the next one Bye.